Got another question on the periodicity topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so definition of orbital is a region of space in an atom where up to two electrons with opposite spins can be found. Electron configuration for an atom of sulfur in terms of subshells, so obviously they've started us off 1s2 and then that's the rest. Number of full orbitals in an atom of sulfur is 7, so I'll use the electrons in box representation to explain that. So full, full, three full, so that's five, six, and then here, the uh, 3p uh, subshell, remember you half fill before pairing up, so you've only got one full orbital there. So seven all together. Moving on to part B, so it's another definition for the mole of a substance. So that's the amount of substance that contains the same number of particles as there are carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. Part C, the definition for the first ionization energy term. So that's the energy needed to remove a mole of electrons from a mole of gaseous atoms. You can always back that up with the equation. So part D now picks up the periodicity topic. So we've got to explain the trend in first ionization energy going across a period effectively, because we're going from fluorine to neon. So neon's got an extra proton in its nucleus. Its outer electrons experience the same level of shielding because they've got the same number of shells. And so therefore there's a stronger nuclear attraction for the outer electrons in the neon. And then for the last part, we've got to explain the difference between neon and sodium. So sodium's got an extra proton in its nucleus, but it's in the next period down from neon. So the important thing there is sodium has an extra shell. Therefore, its outer electrons experience more shielding and therefore there's a weaker nuclear attraction for the electrons.